Namaste. Welcome back my way on this divinely guided day. Hopefully you are well and rested. I'm going to come in hot right now. What that means is sometimes I come in hot and sometimes not. HR writer, a constant commenter on my channel. You are not welcomed here. Your energy is very provocative. It's provoking to me. I feel like you are um, a cross watcher. Mm hmm. I've been looking at your uh, post lately and, you know, people that know me call me TJ. The fact that you call me TJ and you question my, get out of here. You're not welcome. Bottom line. With that disclosure, okay, if you could vibe over here with the real because you understand that it is real over here and it ain't no fake shit over here. Oh, quick disclosure. I do curse. I do speak the truth and I do call our names of God it too. Then welcome. Welcome to the Soul Tribe family. All right. But anybody coming in here uh, trying to project onto me because they are upset. Look, if it's not your message, it's not your message. Be a grown up about it and move on. But quit trying to control my space. Quit trying to control the way I talk. All of that. Anything. If you don't want to be here, you do not have to be here. But to my A1s who are my day ones and, and to the Soul Tribe family who have grown with me over the past few months, I am appreciative of you and your loyalty. But they also know that I do come in hot and sometimes not. So if you are over here and you are a karmic trying to give, show uh, a karmic trying to um, project on to this energy uh, field, this space, this uh, place, this all be in 1111 Soul Tribe energy family, you're not welcome here. And that's just the way it's going to be. Okay. Bottom line. Okay. So I love y'all to my true family members that understand and get me and ain't trying to control me. That this that is a uh, and then the fact that it's HR it reminds me of human resources and I've been crossed so much by human resources. So your energy really ain't uh, welcomed here. I know who I know who has been righteous in their HR career and I know who has not been righteous in their HR career. Divine creator of all living things, I ask that you protect myself and the Soul Tribe family during this read, all reads, and all the time. I ask that you provide myself and the Soul Tribe family with clear and concise messages, as well as clarity, guidance, intuition, wisdom, and discernment. Any negativity that is thrown or projected at myself or the Soul Tribe family, I ask that you strike it down and cut it down as we too strike it down and cut it down, clear, cancel, and release it. And depending on their intentions, return it to sender. Ashe. And thank you. See, this is my space. This is my family space. And ain't no fucking HR in here. So move along, HR writer. All right. All right, y'all. Let's see. Messages coming out from the telephony. Somebody needs to study. Mm hmm. Let's see what this message is. Let love show you how to learn from each other. Okay. So somebody, um, hmm. Maybe it's learning someone that you're re that you are, maybe it's even learning the energies. Okay, that people are are in energy is fluid. This could be resonating with any and all or none. But someone needs to learn how to study. And let love show you how to learn from each other. Okay. Then we have out here Cupid and challenge. So Cupid, love is in the air when Cupid is around. Okay. And then we have challenge here. All true soul connections involve challenges that can be overcome together. Okay. I feel like whatever challenges are out here. Okay. They could be overcome by love. And I feel that there is definitely love in the air. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this challenge. Commitment. Somebody may have a challenge with committing here. Commitment is an important factor in building a successful relationship. Somebody may have a challenge with commitment. Somebody may even be afraid of a connection 
when it comes to marriage and spirit. And this may be what this whole commitment en encompasses. Is a connection with marriage and spirit. Mm -hmm. Or somebody is married to spirit, married, married to the, uh, the divine creator of all living things, as well as their angels and, and ancestors and spirit guides and divine creator of all living things. Clear my crown chakra down and from my crown chakra down back up. I mean, from the root back up to the crown. Please and thank you. Divine creator of all living things, clear my crown down and from the root to the crown. Yeah, it feels to me like somebody is afraid of a commitment when it comes to a connection in marriage and being connected to spirit. Mm. And that's the challenge here. Okay, clarify Cupid for me. Admiration. Hmm. Somebody could admire you. Okay. It says it's time to think about everything you appreciate in your partner. There's something that someone admires you about out here. Mm -hmm. This could be even a spiritual partner. Okay. Do not take this as a literal love in your life. This may be a spiritual connection. Okay. Stop taking everything literal, all right? You are dealing in realms of 3D, which is what you see, and then there are realms outside of the matrix, okay? Stop coming over here playing in this energy field. I am telling you now. And that's a message for somebody sitting right here watching right now, okay? Okay. So yes, there is Cupid here, okay? And I feel like there's an admiration out here. And it's time to think about everything that you appreciate in your partner. And this is from the perspective of you being creative. That means you do not have your partner right next to you. They may not even be in your face, but you can visualize your partner. Because if you can't visualize it, then you will never have it. And you better know that's the first part of manifestation, baby. Play over here if you think you fucking can. So for those that want to play with a real one, I'm going to let you know. Over here, you will visualize or, or you don't have it. Don't come over here. Oh, I, that, uh, yeah, okay. So there is a partner out here and a spiritual one. However, you have visualized this partner, whether it's masculine or feminine energy, okay? And this partner has shot their arrow or you have shot yours. Take it how it resonates, okay? So it's time to think about everything you appreciate in a partner. Now, let's just say, let me break it down for you as a storyteller. Let's just say, you know, you're blessed and you and things come through and you're like, oh, my Lord. And you're like, divine creator, I love you and thank you so much. The divine is working. The divine is working through others. Your partner may be an other. Somebody could have donated to you. Somebody could have given you something. You don't know. OK, take it how it resonates. Acts of kindness. Divinely guided acts of kindness. Things that could possibly, you know, I don't know. Take it how it resonates. But for my visionaries, I feel like there's something you need to do. Because see, hmm, and did I not just give you some clarity? Yes, take a moment to think about your situation to figure it out. Okay. I feel like right here, and that does have a lot to do with studying as well, because some of you may be in relationships where you're not feeling them, they're not feeling you, and that may be because you're not supposed to be together past what it is or what time has already lapsed in the 3D realm. So it is a time to think about everything that you want in your next partner, because I feel like this is a part of manifestation and this is what you visualize and this is what you're bringing towards you. 
And with that study, let love show you how to learn from each other. And then clarity coming out after that, take a moment to think about your current situation to figure it out, or take a moment to think about your situation and figure it out, current or not current situation to figure it out. It's like, okay, what do you want to manifest in your life this time? This life journey. Okay. Yeah. Letting go. Okay. Letting go. That's what I'm saying. Letting go. You have to let go of things that constantly or continuously vex you. Let it go. Okay. So some things are best let go and let the universe work it out in its divine time. I feel like that is what is happening here. Those emotions, correct, right? Look into the depths of your emotions, okay? For those of you who are, you know, going through some sort of emotional roller coaster ride, ups and downs, whatever the case may be, it is time for you to look into the depths of those emotions. Where are those emotions stemming from? Are they stemming from being afraid of being connected to a commitment? Is it afraid of being attracted to something that, you know, uh, you, you, you feel that is perfect, but then ends up not being? It's giving me the energy of letting go of fears. Because your emotions are tied to your ego. So it's like when you're when you're going through all of these uh, thoughts, they are triggering emotions inside you. And these emotions that are being triggered inside you could be emotions that are affecting you in getting with this energy that you so long to get with or to be with, because this is energy that I am picking up on. I feel like this is spirit saying you got to let go of these emotions that are here if you want to get to your soulmate. For those of you who this message is resonating with, it's going to take a lot of strength. Yeah, I just shuffled and then strength comes out. Mm -hmm. It's going to take a lot of strength. The power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together. Exactly. And this is what I'm saying. I feel that energy. It feels like whoever's trying to fight against this love, this connection or whatever this is, it is drawing people together. It's bringing them in. This energy is being brought in. Tell me more. Yeah. Spirit said embrace it. Do not allow anybody to ever have you question what you know. Spirit is saying embrace it because you feel it and you know it for whoever this and look. And then I just saw yes, yes. Okay. So for, for whoever um, this message is resonating with, you feel it. And Spirit is saying embrace what fate has in store for you. You know, you got a lot of naysayers out there. And I feel like, you know, the HR writer is a naysayer. And that's why I have revoked that because I don't want that energy here. I'm an energy reader. I'm going to read what comes out. It may not resonate. You may not like it. But if it's what Spirit said, you're going to have to trust it. Huh? I feel like trust has a lot to do with everything and all things. And somebody is being advised here, you need to trust in the relationship for it to thrive. And I feel like a lot of people here need to trust in their relationship for it to thrive. And this is the spiritual relationship that I'm speaking of because you are definitely connected and tied. And I don't care what nobody say. If you don't believe that, then I don't know what to tell you. That may be a connection you would want to cherish and protect well, because a spiritual connection is so powerful. 
It's more powerful than any of this superficial 3D shit going on. I'll tell you that. It outranks that. The spiritual connection doesn't have anything to do with any type of uh, physical touch or anything else, if you didn't know, since I have to keep breaking it down layman term. Let me see. Yeah, I feel you, Yin and Yang said, come on out. Let's show, let's see what this spiritual connection has to do with. Mm, that was a nice shuffle, too. Tell us more about this message. Yeah. It has everything to do with family, home, and commitment. Mess around and find out. And that's what you're supposed to cherish. And that may be what you're afraid of. Yeah, I feel like your self-worth and your North Node energy and South Node, I'm telling you, you came out in the last reading. This is a wish fulfillment. I'm telling you, this is the connection. This is the connection. And I feel like somebody needs to step into their self-worth when it comes to this energy. You got the self-worth out here. You've got North Node energy out here. You got South Node energy out here. And you've got a wish fulfillment out here. And I tell you now, you are polar opposites. And you will have to accept it or not. Or you will forever be lonely and sad. For those of you who are lonely and sad. But for those of you who understand what a spiritual connection is. You know you're never alone. So therefore, you are not in those energies of loneliness and sadness, which lead into energies of depression. You're not in those energies because you understand a soul connection that you already have. Whether you're going to admit to it or not, I am here to tell you, and I am telling you, you have a soul connection. Whether you believe it or not, that is for you. I feel like Spirit's saying there's a decision to be made here. And I feel like this decision has everything to do with this commitment. And if you are going to be, if you are going to let go of these emotions that you have when it comes to marriage and a connection in a spiritual way. You are challenged with this energy. You're challenged with the commitment. You're challenged with being connected to a marriage or uh, to a combination of both marriage and spiritual, whether it's a 3D, um, another life force, life energy being, or a combination of both the life force energy being and spirit. But you've got to let go of that commitment, or of, that, uh, of being scared of that commitment. And that is a decision that you have to make. Because whatever happened in your past, whatever you felt you lacked or you suffered from, that is over with. That's where you've alchemized that. Your ancestors assisted you in alchemizing all of that lack energy from the past to bring in stability, harmony, and flow. Transcendence in unity. Healing your inner child. And you may even be a fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. But divine is telling you once again, trust in divine timing. Some people out here, you know, they may be wanting you to forgive them right now. That has been coming up a lot. I feel like this is this karmic relationship coming in. They don't want to come in until they know that you can forgive them for what they put you through uh, from a spiritual warfare standpoint or a viewpoint or a perspective or point of view. However, you want to chop it down. OK. I feel like they are tired of the partying life and they are ready to settle down. And this person is trying to get your attention. Whether you believe this or not, I don't care. But I am telling you. There was a there was some sort of connection that was established, whether it was on their side or your side, and they have been trying to come through for a minute. And I don't feel they want you 
look, it's it's a trip. But something's getting ready to happen in the autumn, and if it did, and it already did because the autumn was actually. here now <laughs> the autumn is here now <laughs> and I'm telling you they are trying to connect to you they are trying to connect to you in this harvest season for this ace of pentacles and that is why they are telling you you are the sun you are the strength you bring in the clarity you are the sun there is clarity you are the sun you are the admiration. They admire you. You bring in a harvest. This is what they are saying. And there is somebody here that needs to acknowledge that. You don't want to acknowledge it. That's fine. But I'm talking to somebody. Okay. And I'm sorry if I'm talking sternly, but it's like, stop. Don't come over here and question my messages. If I say something, that's what's, that's the message. I'm not pulling cards out like in here, <laughs> in here, <laughs> you seeing the message come out. So stop playing with me. And if you can't, then stay away from me because I don't like that. But if you can deal with the messages as they come out, because they, and use your discernment and your intuition and your, and your, and your instincts, your guidance. Yeah, then this is where you're supposed to be. I'm not going to tell you nothing that I should. I feel like, you know, hey, and, and I don't like nobody coming over here to try to control or run my space. So get up out of here. Go, you a control theory? Go to your own channel and get it rocking. Other than that, move along. Don't come over here trying to control me and tell me what to say and how to move on and get over nothing. You get your ass out of here. You've been a problem. There is going to be a reunion of these soul ties regardless. Okay, family. So I'm going to leave this message here for y'all. Hopefully it resonates. 222 two, two may be significant. 223 two, two, may be significant. 22, 22 may be significant. Okay. On the chime. Divine creator of all living things, my A ones who are my day ones, my soul tribe family, my real all being 1111 energy soul tribe family, the ones that stay down solid can take all the messages. Don't be bouncing around with their emotions and their feelings. Staying down regardless what I always ask that divine you keep them blessed with love, harmony, tranquility, prosperity, peace, protection and harmony and health, good health and all the time. Ashe and thank you. And until next time, you know what I love to say. Namaste.